You wrote the book, Applebee's America. Exactly how upset are they over the Affordable Care Act? Well, I think the country's upset at both political parties in this, but specifically on the president. I think he's gotten himself in this in his own mind, he's done it himself. He's done the exact opposite of a Walt Disney strategy, which is he's overpromised and underdelivered every step of the way on Obamacare. And when you get in that situation, you can't communicate your way out of it. This is not a communications problem. Right. This is an implementation and a governing problem. And the only way to fix it is by that. And that's why he's in this difficult spot. Within the communications problem, is this within your uh, work with Democrats and Republicans an example of the campaign? in chief being unable to be the governor in chief well I think what's happened this is a result I think for a long time of coming which is so many politicians in Washington adopt short-term communications uh, solutions to long-term governing solutions that we need and that's what's happening here and it's caught up I think the country wants to be told the truth the country doesn't want to be over promised to as I said we he's much better off under promising the country and over delivering and he's in this situation and Tom one of the things that we keep in mind is when presidents drop this low in a second term yeah no president has ever recovered when they've dropped this low in a second term Interesting. yeah and Matt you kept mentioning the over promising Ruth Marcus in the Washington Post writing just about that today and her conclusion after yesterday was listening to the president Thursday was painful he acknowledged the need to win back credibility he fumbled the rollout of health care he said this one's deserved it's on us can he recover I'm not confident now going forward what would President Obama need to do for people to feel confident in his handling of this First, my, I, my expectation is when we look back three years from now at the end of his presidency, we're going to all say this was the tipping point of its relevancy in his presidency. I don't think he can recover fully unless there's some external event that none of us know about that he's able to handle. I don't think he can recover in this. And I think what yesterday he did what is not going to help him at all. I think what yesterday will do is the exact opposite of what he wanted to do. Yesterday is going to burden his friends and bolster his opponents. That's what yesterday will have done. It's going to do, and it's going to make it very difficult for him to govern as he goes forward. And I think, as I say, we're going to look back and say the presidency, his presidency began to end in the fall of, of 2013. Yeah. Matt Dowd, the president has summoned insurance CEOs to the White House this afternoon after making this big concession. Will they get anything concrete out of this meeting? My guess is no, and, and that's it. you're never in a good spot. If somebody is lower in Washington, D.C., or in the country than the politicians, it's insurance companies. Hmm. So teaming up with insurance companies to fix this in the course of this isn't going to be a good thing. Right. He has set a deadline for the end of this month to say the website is going to be working. Everybody expect that's not to be true. He's right. going to be here facing more problems before Christmas. Matt Dowd, I was talking to my assistant Jordan Weinstein this morning, and the first thing out of his mouth was, what does Nancy Pelosi think? We have that moment where the president president sign the act with Speaker Pelosi. How livid is Nancy Pelosi? I think yesterday was all about trying to shore up his Democratic the de Democrats in Washington, the Democratic leaders in Washington. That's what yesterday was all about, and I don't think he did it. I think they're livid. They know this is the signature part of his presidency, and they know it's now becoming undone, and there's nothing they can do about it other than hope it's implemented over the next six months. Right. Well, there's nothing they can do about it.